we got here is a sunk World War II era PBY Catalina. Um, we're on Frito Key. Let me give you a little bit of orientation here. <clears throat> this here is Spanish Key Condo there. And uh, right here where you see the tents, that's the Floor Bama Lounge. So we're right behind the Floor Bama Lounge. And got a rig there, you can see, and a rig there, you can see, and this is where they're filming the movie, The USS Indianapolis, with, uh, starring Nicolas Cage. And this is, apparently was a part of the movie, and they noticed that this PBY was sinking, so they drove it up on the beach and let it sink on the beach. Uh, it's only about four or five feet deep there, so you can see the nose of the aircraft is no doubt touching the sand there. The engines are out of the water, being mounted high on the wing like that. I guess that's probably something they did uh, kind of for this reason. So they took on water and they could teach it, keep the engines out of the salt water. It's like they're working on trying to recover it. We were quite a bit of activity here, people watching the beach, watching the uh, people on the beach watching the plane sink. It's not moving in the waves, so it must be grounded pretty solidly there. Let me zoom in a little bit more on it here. Not something you see every day. Pretty valuable airplane. I don't know how many Catalinas there could be left flying. I'm not sure that this was a flying example, but I assume it was. Black day on beach, we've got quite a bit of strong surf here. I'm sure the people trying to recover this thing uh, probably wish that it was a lot flatter. So we have had several really nice flat days, really most of the day here, but uh, we've had pretty high winds today and yesterday. It's built up quite a bit here in the three, four foot seas. View here. I think it's funny they had so long 
to make a movie about Indianapolis. You know, it's a great subject for a movie, and they never would do it. Now there's two. Yeah, yeah. We had a boy here that that was from Pensacola that, like freshman year of high school, he became like the world's leading authority on the whole story of the Indianapolis. He wrote a couple of books, and he met the a bunch of the survivors, and he's the one that lobbied Congress to get the admiral's name cleared. Because they blamed the whole thing on him. It wasn't really his fault. He ended up killing himself over it. And uh, he kind of lobbied Congress to put it, you know, change the record to get it exonerated of blame for it. The Navy blamed it, blamed him for it, ruined his career. He ended up killing himself a few years later. I'm, I'm spoiling the movie for you now. <laughs> Yeah, nice to talk to y'all. It looks to me like the cockpit is sinking even in a few minutes where we've been here. The cockpit's gone a little bit deeper.